Hey y'all and welcome back. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to check out another one of my videos. In today's video I have a pretty fun video idea planned. Basically I want to take the final palettes that I haven't revisited from 2019. So I went to my video was top 10 palettes from 2019 and I've been revisiting all of them and creating another look with each of the palettes but there were a couple at the end as I've been going along that's just like mm, I don't really want to do a whole video on it. So I was like you know what it'd be fun to take those videos that I don't really want to reuse and dedicate a whole video to and put it together into a palette bingo type of video and give it a little twist. So what we're going to do is once we zoom up close, I'm going to pick my two favorite eyeshadows from each of the palettes and I have to create a look with those. So that's kind of my idea for this video. I think it'll be fun and interesting and unique to kind of have that little twist to it of what, which two eyeshadows in this palette are my favorite. I'm going to swatch all them out between the palettes and then I'll see if I can create a look with those favorite shadows. So the palettes I'm going to be using that I didn't want to dedicate a video to that I named my top 10 from 2019 are are the Kaleidos of Sci-Fi Greens Futurism One Sci-Fi Greens palette, which oops, looks like this. The Midas Cosmetics Lemonade palette, which looks like this. The Midas Cosmetics La Dulce Vida palette. This was the first palette they ever launched, or I'm pretty sure ever launched. This was the first palette I tried from them, but it looks like this. And then last up is the Lethal Cosmetics Hive palette, which I don't have the actual Hive palette anymore because I had taken it apart and distributed the colors between my eyeshadow, or my single eyeshadow palette collection because I, I store them by color. So anyway, this morning I went through and I pulled them all out and I put it in this menagerie uh, magnetic eyeshadow palette, but here is what the Hive palette looks like. So we're gonna take these four palettes and pick my top two favorites from each of them and we'll create some type of look. And I don't know if I've said it in a video, but one of the reasons I'm revisiting so all the palettes from my top 10 2019 palettes is because I plan to re-rank them. So the fact that I didn't really want to do a dedicated video with like just one of these, I feel like it's gonna impact where I rank them now once I go and do that video. So anyway, that's uh, that's a video for another day. You'll have to wait until the last video of November. That's when I'm gonna be re-ranking my 2019 top 10 2019 palettes. So with that said, let's go ahead to just hop in and see what type of look we can get using all four of these palettes. Okay, before I prime my eyes and we get going, let's go ahead and swatch the palettes out, or the two palettes, or the two shades from the palette that I want to use. Let's grab the Lemonade from Midas Cosmetics to do first. I definitely know my number one favorite from this palette was this shade right here. It's unassuming because it just looks like a boring white shade. However, once you swatch it, I don't think there's names on this palette, or they're on the back. I think this is called Zesty. But once you swatch it, oh, I grabbed way too much. <laughs> it is a beautiful kind of duochrome white, yellow gold. Beautiful. So I want to use that. And then my second favorite from this palette was this shade right here, which I think is called Juicy. But it is a matte yellow and it's like a matte neon yellow. I love this shade so much. When I was using this palette or when I first tried this palette out and created looks with it, let me build that up a little bit. But yeah. Here are the first two that we'll have to use in this look. I'm a little washed out, so it's not coming up super true, or it could just because it's so neon, but it's showing up pretty nice and bright. So we'll see. We'll see what type of look I can create with those two. Let me clean off my fingers. Let's grab the other Midas Cosmetics palette. This is the La Dolce Vita. It's been so long since I've looked into it, uh, like opened it and looked at the palette. So here's what it looks like. Let me take a moment. I feel like this palette as a whole, it's like, oh, it's pretty, but nothing stands out to me when I'm looking at it of like, oh, that shade is beautiful, my favorite. This shade is super rich. This shade right here, I, I can't pronounce it. Magileto. I'm sure I'm butchering it like crazy. It looks so rich, it reminds me of a sweater I have. So I'm gonna pick that, but honestly, I'm looking at it and like looking at all the individual shadows in here and nothing's really like jumping out. Like, oh yes, I remember loving that shade. Again, this was the first palette that I tried. I'm pretty sure it's the very beginning of the year, 2019, so it's been a while. I remember enjoying all the looks and th I was very impressed with the formula, but looking at it, I can't, like nothing stands out. It's like, oh yeah, I remember that. That formula was just so spot on, or that shade was just so beautiful on the lid. So the only other shade that's really screaming at me, I'm going back and forth between these two. This shimmer blue and this matte green, they're very pretty. I don't remember like how they perform. Like it's been so long, oh my goodness. I'm gonna go to Pelon. Let's do that matte green. I feel like that's more true to me. <laughs> going for the matte green, you guys know me. So let's swatch that out right next to it. So we're gonna use those two shadows from the palette. All right, moving right along, let's get the Futurism Sci-Fi Greens palette, which looks like this. I want that black, because I remember enjoying that palette, or that black so, so much, like it's such a rich black. 
Let's put that right here. I'm going down my arm. It's going to get a little hairy, but oh well. I remember really being impressed with that black. And then the second favorite has to be one of those shimmers. Which one do I like more? Hmm. I just remember them being so like liquid gold looking on the eyes. I absolutely loved it. I feel like the gold gold, the true gold up here is screaming at me more. So I'm going to go for that one. So let's swatch that right here. This should be a pretty interesting, so far like interesting, but pretty cohesive type of look. I'm kind of happy with that. Let's go. Hive is the next palette, even though it's in a menagerie palette. But the Hive from Lethal Cosmetics is the next one. And I definitely know this green one was always my favorite so I got to I'm gonna swatch that for sure definitely have to work that into the look I loved this shade so much when I use this palette it's not gonna look that impressive because I am swatching over the hair on my arm so keep that in mind but oof so pretty can't wait to use that and then last up what is ah, I just dug my nail into it shoot last up what else do I like in here hmm I think I'm gonna have to give it to this green one I really did like that matte green it was a beautiful shade I don't know the names for these sorry I'll stick them on the screen just because I don't want to pull them out <gasps> did it turn green mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, give me hugs. My little guy Levi just woke up, so I'm gonna go and get him situated, wake up, snuggle, and get him some breakfast, and think on this collection that I have to work with for an eye look, and then we'll come back here and we'll create an eye look together, so be right back. All right, so he's set up with breakfast. I've been looking over my arm. I think I have a rough idea of what I wanna do. There's lots of green. Who's surprised? But then there's some yellow in there as well, and this is kind of like a blue-green. So I want to start with this on the outer corner, and maybe I'll deepen up with black, or I'm going to use a black as a wing liner. That's my plan for the darkest shades. So let me dive in with this brush, and let's go in. What is this brush? Um, it's a shader brush from, oh, Moda. What's that, Moda brushes? Yeah. Okay, so like I said, I'm going to go into, let's grab the La Dolce Vita. Whoa, this brush, uh, this palette right here, we're going to go into this shade. Um, yeah, this shade just kind of jumped out to me when I opened it initially. It looks so rich in the pan. And like I said, it reminded me of a sweater I have. <laughs> Is that silly to uh, pick a favorite? But this is the one palette where I feel like maybe it's because it's been so very long. Like I said, I think it was the beginning of 2019 that I tried this, but I don't like, nothing jumps out at me in there as like, oh yeah, I remember loving this shade in the palette or loving that about it. I just really enjoyed the bright looks. And also this was kind of one of the first few bright eyeshadow palettes I bought and kind of went like all in with the brights. So maybe, uh, yeah, so maybe I just loved it because I didn't have a, a palette like this really in my collection that had so many bright shades, so many bright mattes all in one palette. But as I open it and look at it, I'm kind of like, hmm, I don't know, it doesn't stand out to me as much. And that's the biggest reason I was like, I don't really want to do a whole video on it. You can't get it anymore. It was um, pretty limited edition at the time, I think, because Midas didn't sell it for very long. And they, uh, you know, they came out with lots of great palettes over the years and they are rebranded. Midas M-I-D-A-S is closed down, but they rebranded and are coming back as M-Y-D-A-S. And I picked up their newest palette. I need to give it a try at the time of me filming this. I haven't tried it yet. I need to give it a try and see what I think about it because I'm so very curious about the whole, we're closing, but now we're coming back. We're going to rebrand. I don't know why they didn't just come back as the actual brand, why they rebranded. I don't know, I'm curious. I'm just gonna go right on top of that with, what did I do? I think I reached into this shade right here, this green. They're too, they're pretty close, but this one's a little bit more of a, I feel like a me type of green. So let's just go right on top of there. That's a nice shade. It doesn't give me as much depth as I want, so I'm probably gonna be adding a touch of black on the outer corner, but that's okay. Let's put this out here and just bring it around, I guess. How many greens do I have to work with? I have a grungy green left and then the yellow. So, Hmm, I think I'm going to keep the grungy green for the below lower lash line. So I'm going to bring Peloton in a little bit because I think I'm going to just put yellow on top of all this um, green that I'm working with to kind of blend it out. I should get a more detailed brush. But anyway, so uh, I'm super curious to see what Midas continues to do because like I said, I was a little confused on why they had to rebrand. Maybe it's something like legal wise, like once you say you're shutting down, you can't just like open it back up with the same name. I don't know, but apparently, you know, they're opening back up. They launched their first palette and it's, you know, a palette, it's, it's still a makeup brand like they were before with the MI. So I'm very curious. I might try to fit that video into this month, but it's a fun little palette, like color story wise. So I don't know. I'm very curious to see what Midas does because they, I feel like, especially 2019, I was really into Midas, very impressed with them. I was liking like all their launches. They did that collab with Smoky Glow, which was super pretty. 
Um, so yeah, I'm just, oh, and they did the Perception palette, which I think came out in 2020. I'm just taking more of that first shade. Um, but I love the Perception palette. If I had to pick one palette for Midas as like a favorite, I think it would be that Perception palette because I just, it was such a good palette. So yeah, out of all the palettes that I have tried and have from Midas, I feel like this is the one that's easily forgotten. And uh, I don't know if it's just because, like I said, they didn't stock it for long. It's been so long since I've used it. They also like didn't even put their logo on it. Like it was one of their very first palettes, so they just have the name on it, but there was no like brand logo on it. I think she said that was like an oversight or something um, when they did the palette. I forget. But uh, yeah, I don't. I don't know. I just. Wasn't super excited about doing a whole video on this, so that's where I got the idea of like, hmm, what palettes am I not really wanting to do a whole dedicated video, a whole dedicated look on? Well, we could spice it up with a little palette bingo with a twist. It's not really palette bingo, I suppose, but just picking my favorite shades I thought would be fun to see what type of look I get. So now we've done these two shades from the La Dulce Vida palette. Let's move on. I'll probably add a little black, but in a little bit. Let's move on and do... The yellow, is that the only other matte? I think it is. Let's go into the yellow, which is the gorgeous neon yellow. I think this brush will work. And let's put it right on top of that green to help blend it out. Now this palette, I definitely remember um, like enjoying it a whole lot. I just, it like, it sticks out in my memory a lot more than the, the La Dulce Vida. Like this palette, I feel like it took me no time at all to remember my favorite shades, like these two easily my favorite shades. I love them so much just for how intense they were, how you know beautiful they were, how pigmented and whatnot. I just remember really enjoying them and then as a whole like I re still remember all the different type of looks that I did with this palette. I don't know this one just stands out in my memory a whole lot more even though like the reason I d decided not to go back and do a whole dedicated video on it is because it doesn't have a really deep dark outer corner. I really wanted you know I was thinking about doing a look with it and I'm like uh, it's not gonna have like a very deep dark outer corner because it's such a light color story as a whole like it's got a brown in there but it doesn't go very deep so that's when I decided to put it in with this video. It's still really pretty it's like a great yellow companion palette just needed a little bit more depth to be like the perfect yellow palette for me so anyway blending all this out and uh, I forget when this one came out. I think it was towards the end of the year maybe end of summer but yellow is a fun color for sure you just got to have the uh, right mix of like bright and dark in the yellow palette because like I get that yellow I guess some people maybe think should have nothing but bright colors but I think you can have a really pretty like a bumblebee black and yellow they go so well together I don't know, that's also just me. I totally get it if you love the yellow palettes to stay kind of light and airy and nothing too dark, but I definitely, that was the one thing that was missing for me, so. Anyway, let me finish blending this out and just taking that second color I took. Now going back into the yellow and doing my usual back and forth motions. All right, just looking like a good blend. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's see, I'm gonna move on to the shimmers and then I think for the black, I'm going to be lining my eyes with it and maybe winging it out, but I'm gonna do all that after the shimmers just so um, it'll pop on top of the shimmer. I'm gonna get my lit NYX, licks, I just said, my NYX glitter primer and I'm gonna pop this on and then I got three shimmers. One I feel like is just, you know, so light, the one from the, the yellow palette. I think I'm just gonna use that as the inner corner highlight, that'd be easiest. And then the other two should go pretty effortlessly and seamlessly onto the lid with this look. It's a very cohesive look. It's pretty easy when I have a type <laughs> to uh, my favorite shades to kind of work together, I suppose. Maybe I should have done a more random palette bingo with this and had, you know, an app or whatever pick the numbers but oh well um okay so now like i said we're going to go into the shimmers we have these two over here which this is from kaleidos the gold this is from the hive palette from lethal the green and then like i said this is from the lemonade palette but we're going to save that for the inner corner so for these two what i want to do is i'm going to use the green first and then go into the gold that's what i i want to do i yeah, that's what I want to do. It'll really pop. Can you tell I just kind of make things up as I go? All right, going into the green in the Lethal, or yeah, Lethal Cosmetics Hive palette. This was, as I said, oh, this was my favorite shade. It's not like super sparkly or like have anything, I don't know, like blinding in it, but it's just a really nice solid shimmer, I remember. Like really pretty, and I feel like, kind of reminds me as I'm using it right now of the um, uh, Kylov shimmers. Yeah, it's just smooth, nothing too chunky, nothing too big, easy to pick up with a brush, nice, nicely pigmented, so, so pretty. 
yeah, I like a good simple shimmer. Like the sparkly ones are pretty too, but there's also something nice about just a solid shimmer that you know is gonna stay right where you put it and not travel up into your brows or fall all over your face throughout the day. So anyway, this is still nice and smooth. This definitely for me at the time was like a blinding, blinding lime green. It's not super blinding, like it's pretty, not to say it's not, but I've definitely worn more like intense neon shades since this, but I do remember at the time I was like, wow, especially mixed with all these tones, it really did pop as like almost like a neon lime green, super pretty. All right, so now that I've done that, let's go ahead and dip into the gold which I feel like the Kylov is gonna have a little bit more sparkle to it, we'll find out. This gold shade right here, not, I said Kylov, sorry, Kaleidos. I'm just gonna flip the, I'm gonna clean the brush off and then flip it over on the other side and dip into the gold. I think it had names, but it was on the little like um, plastic thingy in there and I did not keep it, obviously, so I don't know the names. Okay, it's kind of similar. It's a little bit more of an intense shine to it than the green, but still uh, not too like sparkly. So they go well together, it doesn't look too different. Oh, this is turning out to be a really pretty eye look. I'm, oops, wrong color. I'm really excited that all these went together so well. This, uh, this Kaleidos palette was the first one I tried from Kaleidos so long ago. I remember I was trying it and wearing it when I was really sick with Levi. The memories just come on back, but uh, still a great palette. I remember at the time while I loved it, I did wish that like the two matte greens were a little bit more different and even the two shimmers, it was like they're kind of similar. For it being such a six pan palette, I just would have liked a little bit more variety within it with between the shades. Like I, I don't think I mind when shadows are that close in larger palettes, but when it's tinier palettes, I, I really do. I'm, I'm kind of picky in that aspect of, I kind of nitpick and be like, why'd you have to do that? And put them so close, we only had so many shades. But it's still really pretty. Ooh, and that's looking really nice. I like it. I'm gonna dip back into the the green from the hive and just do my usual tap, tap, tap around it. You guys know the drill. Okay, I like that. All right, so now let's go ahead and I'm gonna get a liner brush for the black, which is also in the Kaleidos. And let's go ahead and line on top of that those shimmers and then let's oh shoot it did stain a little bit i don't know if you guys can see that but i'm not the best at using um eyeshadow for a liner but see what we can do not too bad do i want a wing not really i think i'm gonna go without a wing today is that crazy i think you know what i'll do is i'm going to take just i'll take that brush that i had the green on and i'm gonna dip into the black and i'm just gonna kind of do one of those like feathered out edges i feel like a lot of people who don't do wings all the time, or even people who do wings whenever they don't want to, they make it like the liner kind of effortlessly disappear in this outer corner, and I always like that. So it's not like a hard or harsh line where it stops. Like that. Ooh, I'll do that. I think that's pretty. And I'm just gonna make this a little bit wider as it disappears into it. Cause I feel like that looks good too. So like this, and then yeah, you can't really tell where, where the line stops there. I think that's very pretty. All right, really quickly, we're gonna round this out and then I'll finish out the look off camera. I'm gonna use this with a mixture of the black on my lower lash line and then we'll use that shimmer and that's gonna be the look. So let's go into, what was that black? Wait, did we use? Oh yeah, the black is from Kaleidos. I just want a touch of it because I want the majority of it to be that grungy green from Hive. This black from uh, Kaleidos is super nice. I know I've said it before, but it is an intense, very, very intense, beautiful black. And then I'm gonna dive into that green that I picked out. This Hive palette is really nice. I think this was the first palette, or the first like time I tried Lethal Cosmetics and I bought the whole set. I love the this palette together. It works really well, it's very, very beautiful. And then the formulas are just so nice and smooth. I like the shimmers and the mattes. I got some fallout I'm gonna have to clean up afterwards, probably put some more concealer on but yeah their mattes are my favorite for sure and their their shimmers are very pretty and smooth and I definitely like some more than others like I like their brighter colors I should say they're more like um, you know like these two they're pretty but they just aren't you know I don't know I don't love them as much as I do others but uh, definitely they're more brighter colors definitely like how smooth they are and how easy they are to apply okay inner corner let's go with the inner corner which is that stunning shade from the lemonade palette pop it on the inner corner this also worked really well as a, a highlighter too I already have my highlighter on for today or I would I should have waited but oh well 
really stunning stunning <laughs> stunning really stunning also really really pretty all over the lid as well so I remember Mai's Cosmetics could do some really pretty very kind of in the same way Lethal's was smooth and easy to apply Midas was also really smooth and easy to apply but still very stunning and sparkly so I always enjoyed her formula so this is pretty much the look I'm gonna go off camera put on some mascara I also have to kind of blend out the edges but I'm just gonna take the same shades with a little bit of yellow to blend it out I'll do that off camera because someone came back and wants more Oh my gosh, he wants more breakfast. Look, look at the camera. What did you do? Look at the camera. Hmm? Where's mama's camera? Hmm? Look up there. Hmm. What happened? Did you, did you play with my brush? Yeah. My black brush? Yeah. It's very pretty. All right, let's go get some more food. I'll be right back. All right, so we are back and this is the final look. I got the little guy set up with some more food and I was able to finish out this look. But yeah, this is how it turned out. I really like the final look. Honestly, I liked it a whole lot better than I thought. I don't know why going in, I was like, oh, I might not love the end, you know, end results just because it, it seemed like such a mishmash of colors, but they all work so seamlessly together. I don't know why I was <laughs> being, uh, why I was doubting it or whatever. And I really like how I did the liner, the black liner, but I also added it to the outer corner so it helped deepen it up I didn't have to do a full wing sorry if you were hoping to see the black used you know in more of a prominent way so you could you know see it more obviously but trust me when I say it's a gorgeous black like so intense it's so beautiful but yeah this is the final look using all four of these palettes my favorite two shadows from each of the palettes the hive palette I know it's confusing but the lethal cosmetics hive palette the kaleidos sci -fi, futurism sci-fi greens palette mm -hmm. and then the two palettes from Midas the lemonade and the la dulce vita palettes my little buddy here again but yeah that is going to be the video for today I hope you guys enjoyed seeing how all these palettes work again and I could kind of like dip back into them a little bit reminisce about what I liked about them and yeah just get to use them one more time in this video before I re-rank my 2019 yeah my favorite palettes from 2019 so with that said that's gonna do it for me thank you so much for watching as always I do appreciate it and if you want to continue getting daily content from me I'm over on Instagram at ladykatie92 over there and with all that said I'll see you guys very soon in my next video hopefully tomorrow bye guys